Next, TikTok, the short form video sharing app, has 1 billion, yes, with a B, monthly active users, and the majority of them come from right here in the US. So if you've wondered how to create a video, we're here for you. New Day intern Aspen Shumpert, a Gen Z for sure, put together a little tutorial for us. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how I go about making my TikToks. Now when it comes to TikTok, you can film something you're cooking or creating or simply just showing everyone what a day in your life looks like. But today you're gonna come along as I film as I make one of my favorite recipes, chocolate peanut butter banana bites. First things first is when it comes to filming a recipe, make sure you have all of your ingredients out like I do here so it's easy to grab them when you need. After that, I'm gonna start shooting and what I personally do is just use the camera on my phone instead of filming in the TikTok app because I feel like it's gonna be easier to edit at the end and you'll have more options. My first shot is gonna be what it looks like before I've even touched it, so a video of my ingredients. When I film, I make sure to get a few different clips and angles so that I have options when it comes time to edit. Now something that people kind of get worried about with TikTok is that you have to keep your phone in your hand all the time, which you don't. You want to showcase all the steps, but that doesn't mean your phone has to be in your hand all of the time that you're shooting. Okay, I just finished the recipe and I just finished shooting my last shot of the finished piece. Next, I'll import all these videos into the TikTok app and edit there. I'm gonna hit the plus button at the bottom of my screen so that I can create a new video. It's gonna pop up and you're gonna see some numbers at the bottom which you can change the video time length to. Once I've changed that time, I'm gonna start uploading the videos that I shot on my camera and put them into the app. Now that I have all those clips in, I'm gonna add some sound. At the top of your screen, you're gonna see a little music icon. You're gonna hit that. A few options are gonna pull up. You either can choose a recommended song, which is songs TikTok thinks that you should use or ones that are trending, or you can go over and hit that favorites, and those are gonna be sounds that you've saved. So sometimes I'm scrolling through TikTok and I'll see a video and I'll be like, oh, I like that sound. You can save it for later and you can use it on your own videos. Okay, all these videos are unedited and clipped. So the next thing I'm gonna do is hit that adjust clips button on the right, and that's gonna allow me to trim down the clips and take away what I want and what I don't want. TikTok does this thing where you can choose music and your clips can sync up to it and they'll do it for you. I prefer to clip my own videos and just make it look the way I want. Okay, now that everything's edited, I'm gonna add some text over it so people know what I'm making. And you can play around with where you want to put the text, depending on your video, it might look better at the top of the screen, at the bottom, and you can go ahead and change the size to make sure it looks the way you want it. Once I'm done with the text, I can go ahead and type out the caption I want, and over in the right you can see it's a, it says select cover, which means you can choose what you want it to look like on your profile grid. So when someone goes and looks at your profile and sees all the videos, those cover photos of those videos is what you'd be choosing now. And once I'm done, it will be ready to post. really good but I feel that's a lot of work but I appreciate Aspen for doing that what I like to do just a little hack on mine when you go into Instagram if you see a video you like sometimes it'll have a little thing that says template you can just steal that template and use it easy peasy add your clips there you have it